I have a, a very interesting video I want you to watch because uh, I don't know if it's like it's a light that is shining in the darkness or I don't know if it's actually some people are waking up from sleep but I want you to watch this video it's very important very interesting uh, it was made in the office of a uh, colonel Bamqui I don't know if you know him so well it's a popular name it's a notorious guy sorry not popular but notorious it's a notorious name Colonel Bamqui, you know him so well in Yaoundé. So uh, I want you to watch this video. Watch this video and I'll be right back. Je vous demande de vous connecter là. Je suis en situation très délicate ici actuellement. Je suis au bureau du colonel Bamqui et j'ai reçu, déjà reçu trois gros chiffres. Un de lui et un des deux, de, 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 de ces éléments. Je suis ici contre mon gré. J'ai été arrêté parce que j'ai une affaire pour, à la, à la, à la, à la, dans une compagnie là où je, on m'a convoqué ce matin. Donc on est venu m'arrêter et je vous appelle, c'est le colonel Bancoui qui m'ordonne de faire, faire direct. ce direct contre mon avis. Après m'avoir, il m'a donné une grosse gifle et un des éléments m'a donné une grosse gifle. On a engagé une discussion sur l'affaire la, de l'armée, sur la guerre au nord de l'Est. Et euh, dans ces conditions là, je ne sais pas la suite. Je, on a je, le débat. Oui, je, je réitère ceci. On a le débat. Je suis dans son bureau, au bureau du colonel. Il fait le direct de son bureau. Il fait le direct, ils m'ont arrêté, ils m'ont amené ici, ils m'ont demandé de faire cette vidéo par force. Et je lui ai dit, je lui ai dit, et je réitère cela, que je suis contre la guerre au nord de sud ouest Je suis contre la mort des, Cam des Camerounais. Je réitère cela et personne ne peut me convaincre d'être en faveur de cette guerre. -là. Je veux qu'on trouve une solution et je suis prêt à mettre mon énergie philosophique à ce débat-là. Il est impératif. Qu'on qu arrête cette guerre. -là. Je le dis de ce direct, de ce bureau, malgré toute euh, euh, la violence que j'ai eu. Moi, on m'avait giflé. Ouais, Donc, ça veut dire que mon collègue m'avait giflé. Ouais, voilà. Donc, au lieu d'avoir un débat avec un philosophe, on le gifle. Bon, j'espère qu'après ça, les hautes autorités vont donc commencer dans le débat. Après m'avoir voué de coup, de, 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 non pas de coup, moi pas encore, ouais, mais on va avoir giflé. J'espère que, à part les sans plaisir, on va avoir un débat dans ce pays. Si j'ai dit que je suis prêt à tout ce qui va arriver, il faut qu'on arrête cette guerre. Il faut qu'on arrête cette guerre. Et je le dis ici dans son bureau. Je dis que c'est moi qui t'ai demandé. Et je demande, et comme c'est lui qui me permet de faire ce direct à la place de tous les Camerounais, je demande que nous sommes un, un pays d'un côté, ça nous Cameroun, un Cameroun oriental. Il faut qu'on se réunisse et on ne peut pas le faire à travers, je connais l'histoire, à travers la guerre. On ne peut pas employer cette guerre pour être convaincu qu'on ne doit plus avoir ces morts. Trouvons n'importe quoi, mais il faut qu'on arrête. C'est une affaire politique. Et je veux le convaincre, ce colonel, le colonel Bamboui qui est devant moi là. Il va te convaincre aussi. Le... Et, et je débat. veux, après ce débat, débat avec et je vous dis, Camerounais, je suis prêt. Je suis prêt à tout. Dis que nous avons débat. Je suis prêt, prêt à tout. Que, voilà, voilà, et je vous dis, en sortant d'ici, si du colonel, de, si il sort d'ici, mort ou vif, je suis prêt à ce qu'il y ait une, une cessation des, des hostilités dans ce pays. Voilà. J'allais tout dire. J'ai dit au président de la République, voilà. on a élu un seul tome. C'est lui. Et c'est lui qui a déclaré la guerre. Et je dis que c'est faux. Ce n'est pas normal qu'on déclare la guerre au Cameroun. À d'autres Camerounais. Même s'il y a des manipulations après, on peut en débattre. Bon, voilà, ça voilà va. je voulais vous remercier et vous dire, pour le moment, je crois qu'il y aura un débat. Vous euh, parce qu'il t'a permis de faire le direct aussi. Non, vous m'avez forcé. Vous m'avez forcé de faire, de forcer de faire le direct. Mais quand même, pour le moment, plus qu'il me, me donne ce que je veux, ce que j'aime bien discuter avec vous, les voilà. Facebookers, Ouais. Je peux lui dire que merci. je reconnais quand même ce qu'il a fait. Voilà. Je ne dis pas merci, voilà. mais je reconnais. Voilà. Je... Now, that video was made in Bamquis office, in Colonel Bamquis office. I think he's the guy of the Semil. I don't know if he has been retired or he's still there. But anyway, but what, what interests me uh, is like the video has made some, you know, maybe one year or two years, something like that. But it's still very important. It's still very important for us to talk about it. Uh, reasons being that it is uh, actually play into our reality of today in our community in our society you hear the officer is talking about uh, a resolution of what is happening in ambazonia and he says uh, it was caused by paul bia and paul bia had no right or paul bia did the wrong thing so he should call it off and let there be a national debate on this matter and he doesn't care 
even if there should be a La Republic du Cameroon and there should be a Southern Cameroon, it's not a problem. But the loss of lives is not good. That people are dying every day because of a problem which is more political. You get the point. The problem is political. So to an extent, this guy should be a Bulu Betty guy. To an extent, I want to say we give a little bit of credit to this guy. I don't know if he's well, all the same. We give a little bit of credit to him. The credit is not that we support Betty Bulu people. No. What he had he just said. You get the point. Yeah, he says uh, if there is nothing, he will this, he will that. That's not our problem. But it means even right in these people, they know exactly what is happening. They know exactly the realities of our community. They know very well the history of the Cameroons. Some of them know it. Some of them don't know. And some know it and they hide it. But this man was courageous enough to talk about these things. And he's, to he's talking about a national debate on a form of state, how Cameroon should be in future. These are debates that these people know very well. Who will debate first? Well, that is the question. Who are those to debate? That's the question. And now we go to what is called the dialogue. I mean, genuine dialogue, which means before this dialogue takes place, you know all the conditions that must have been met before this dialogue takes place. The much or the long-awaited dialogue that even the international community is talking about. Now, there are three schools of thought. Like I told you before, there are three schools of thought. The very first school of thought is this, that of Atanganji, that there is no problem. Uh, uh, La Republic is one and indivisible. Cameroon is one and indivisible. There is no problem. That is the first school of thought. The second school of thought are federalists. Federalists who are very confused. They don't even know the form of federation that they want for themselves. They don't know whether they want a decentralization or they want federation. So federation, they just fall under that category. And they don't have any fight they are putting on. They are just depending on Amazonians to lay their claim. The third school of thought are Amazonians who are for total independence. I think you get it. So they, these are three schools of thought. And these, these discussions or these debates will not be settled on a TV program, right? It won't be settled on a TV program. It will be settled in the ballot box in a democratic way. That means they have given the people the chance to decide their future. Who are these people? The people of Southern Cameroon. That is when they are putting the question. That is when they are addressing the root cause of this problem. And by addressing the root cause of this problem, they are bringing a permanent political solution. That is the dialogue, my dear brother. That is the dialogue, my dear sister. That is the dialogue, my dear viewer. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, there are people in La Republic of Cameroon who understand these things, but because of their personal interest, the greed that they have, they will never address these issues. You get my point? That is it. But at the end of the day, the day God says, okay, full stop, things will come to the limelight. And they know, they know, the La Republic of Cameroon citizens, they know that any day that this form of dialogue is put on the table, it is game over for La Republic. Because even in most uh, hard and very difficult conflicts in the world, like our case, it has always ended on a dialogue table. And it ends in a referendum. Because we will not be talking about the argument of uh, force or the force of argument. It will be settled in the dialogue but in a quiet and peaceful way, supervised by the international community. And when, they, when you will be supervised by the international community, that is the time you are going to see some countries now will recognize Southern Cameroon as an independent country.
This is exactly the process. But as it stands, the people of Southern Cameroon, they only have to put it head on. They only have to put it head on, giving more sensitization, more political education to the masses, treating them well, speaking the truth at all times to them, so that when the time comes, the people will choose rightly and the people will decide their fate. So at the end of the day, nobody will be forced to do what he or she doesn't want, but will choose out of their own wish. I think it's a nice thing. Uh, the video was interesting and this is how we move as we journey on. Thank you for watching and have a nice time.